Good evening, mister. Hello, Rodrigo. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, fine, very fine. I was thinking in the class. I was I was I was thinking that uh, when when we are beginning, always I am nervous. Really? Why? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't I don't know. So tell me, mister, how was your day? Good, good. Today is very good. It's very good. I have appointment and I have uh, a meetings with uh, with uh, new guys and I guess that uh, becomes a good business. Okay, that's good. Cool. That's good. Cool. Yeah, it's good. It's always good to get good business. I think that that uh, I am blessed with this with the. Well, I think that always I get the blast of Jesus. That's nice. That's nice. It's always good to have faith. Yeah. I'm a man of faith. Okay, that's cool. That's excellent. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Oh, okay. Now I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I lost for you. I lost you. Yeah. Rodrigo is teacher now. <laughs> oh, Rodrigo. Hey. He's a good. Only he bad, a, bad he's words a good I know. assistant teacher. Yeah. Only yeah, bad yeah. words I know. <laughs> oh, I don't believe you. I don't believe that. <laughs> but I try. I think that is good. I never stay in this method before. It, for me, it's a good experience. That's uh, the reason that I, I have a, a little nervous when we start every day. You I have think that I, yeah, I have, I have learned uh, many things every day. Every day. You write uh, the words and the chat, and I copy in my book uh, the, the new words, the new means, and I make uh, my file. Yeah, actually, that's good when we can make up our uh, getting the words according to when we are working with them. Yeah. And I think that for everyone is good. It's good methods because the label is not the same for us, but we can try. We can help ourselves to obtain good uh, label because uh, the other guys know something that I don't know. And the expressions they use uh, sometimes is new one for me. And I can hear, and I can hear the other accent. That's, that's cool. Nice. Yeah. yeah, no, this, this method is actually good. And we can practice different, different topics with different people. Like, uh, look, yeah. there's there's Adonai. Hello, Adonai. How are you? Hey, hello, teacher. How are you? Here we are talking about different uh, pronunciations and accents. So tell me, Adonai, where did you study English before? Uh, <laughs> I study English in many places, uh, but I start but never ending the 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 course complete. Um, two years, two years ago, I studied in Itka for uh, eight months, and in my job, take a uh, maybe three or four months class in the in the job. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. but I never finish the course complete. Mm, that's a problem. Because that's I don't have problem. much time. Yeah. Yeah, but it, but that's that's that class is very good because I I have much time to practice, and that's very good for me. Oh, you mean this class? 
Yes, I like this class. You said that class. This class, I'm sorry. Okay, good, good, excellent. Look, Hilda looks very relaxed today. Yes, teacher. <laughs> so did you exercise today? Yes, yes. But today is, uh, I was very busy. Oh, really? I was busy today, really? yes, because I worked and I went to the doctor for routine check checkup. Okay. Uh, and finally, in, in the evening, I I exercise in working machine working. for yeah. thirty minutes only. Mm -hmm. Working machine, mm, thirty minutes. Working that's machine. that's actually a lot. Yes, yes, three kilometers. Three kilometers. Wow. Yes. What is the pronunciation? Kil kilometers. 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 Three kilometers. Finish. Finish. Okay, and where that's... did you study before? Excuse me? You had another course before? Or yes. where? All right. Yeah. But where? it's a... Uh, um, But it's a long time. It was. Long time it ago. It was a long, was long time. time ago. Yes. It was a long time ago. At least a long time ago. Yes. Maybe uh, six years or... Uh, how do you say six years ago? Six oh. years ago. Six, six years, years ago. ago. And you have to stop it? And right now you are at the beginning again? Or... Yes. Yes, Correct. because... Really, really, the English mm, don't like, really. Oh, really? You don't like it? <laughs> you don't like it? Yes, oh, yes, but I don't know, but it's very important. Yes, but you're good at it. Yes, yeah. but it's very important. When I visit my relative in the United States, oh my God, I need to <laughs> you improve need to my speak. English. Yes. Were, you, were you living in the United States? No, no. Only the visit my relative. Oh yeah, short time. Yes, short For time. Only two week. The 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 visit. Okay. Yeah, like tourists. Okay. You have good. Only visit visit them. I only visit them for two or three weeks. Okay. Only visit visit them. For two for or three weeks. For two or three weeks. Well, that's a lot. Two or three weeks. Yes. yes. That's a long one. That's almost the... your. That's almost Sorry. your whole vacation. Oh yeah, but in my world, all on every years, uh, it was is is the activity for donation because I work in the institution no profit. Yeah, you work for an o ONG. Yes. Yeah. ONG is what e does you say? Is, uh, I, I, I exceed the activity, the, the donation oh. in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Yes. So you travel every year just for that? Yes. Oh, that's just nice. for that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, teacher. Yes, she's talking about the organization that uh, don't uh, make a business. It's only yeah. like a non gift, non-profit organization. Profit. Non -profit. I don't. I, I, what What do you mean when you say profit? Non-profit. Non non-profit. Non okay, hold on. I'm gonna non-profit. Non-profit organization. Non-profit. Okay, non-profit. Yeah, they don't make money. It's not a business. It's not a business. No. Oh yes, I know that. I don't know that word because I am a businessman. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you like the organizations that make business. Yeah, only make business. Show me the money. No profit. <laughs> it's a new one for me. Always we learn something new. Let's see who else is around. Dinora, good evening. 
Thank you, Elda. Okay, teacher. Hello, Dinora. Hmm. Perhaps she cannot hear me. There's Vicky also. Vicky, hello. Hello, teacher. How Good are evening. you? Good Bye. Evening. How's your day? Um, hard day. Oh, really? Tell me why. Yes, teacher. Because I was in the meetings. At meetings. All day. Mm -hmm. oh, really? At meetings all day. Mm -hmm. mm. For so project. New it project. Was, it was a hard day. Yes. I can imagine. What's the name of your company? Inversiones Simco. Okay, what do they do? I I or or um, the company. The what companies. do they do? When I ask you uh, when I ask you what do you do? I'm talking about in your own case about what is mm -hmm. your profession or your occupation. When mm -hmm. I ask about the company, I ask you, what do they do? Uh, okay. It's immobiliaria. Oh, really? Real yes. estate? Real estate. Real estate. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good Administration, business. galerias. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Wow. A big responsibility. Yes. Big company. That's cool. Yes, interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. see. Let's see. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. You work for a telephone company, no? I don't know. Sorry, teacher. Yes, I work it for diesel. Oh yeah, and you train people or supervise people? Uh, uh just a little. Um, uh, I am a supervisor, but I. I make some things in my company. Um, different things. Yourself, different things. Um, maybe is uh, when I have a time, uh, test new cell phone, make a new project to the new promotions and training people, see the operation of the customer care and in the contact center too. That's it. Wow, that's it. You got a yeah. lot of, you got a lot of responsibilities. Yeah, but it's good. It was good. Well, thank you, Adonai. Let's see who else is here around. Let's see, Vanessa. Let's see. I know what Vanessa does. Vanessa works in human resources, don't you, Vanessa? Or administration? Administration. Well, the administration area. So how was your day, Vanessa? Tired. Oh. <laughs> I like it. Vanessa goes like tired. <laughs> I am tired. Oh, really? But, what? But fine. What did you do today? Um, a meeting. Um, I had somebody. meetings. I had I, meetings. I had meetings. Um, I, I, I was report reports. I prepare reports. I prepare reports. I prepare uh, two letters. Um, check the email. Uh, uh, how do you say autorizar? Authorize. Authorize. Pays. Authorize. Payment. 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 Okay. Um, checks. How do you say checks? Checks. Checks. Um, uh, wow, you have a lot to do. Yes, yes. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I imagine that Vanessa is a tough boss. No, uh, no. I can tell, I can tell just to I, hear you. I am Vanessa, very, no, I am very friendly. <laughs> yeah, she goes like that. Ah, you are fire, go away. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Thank you, Vanessa. Let's see, Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia. Sylvia. She cannot hear me, perhaps. Well, okay, let's see who else is here. Franklin, hello, Franklin. How are you? 
Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, okay. Now I got both of you together. Let's see. First, Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia. How are okay, you? Okay, okay. Fine, teacher. How was your day, Sylvia? And you? I'm great. Thank you. Mm. Uh, okay, teacher. How was um, your day? Mm. Is it um, hard, difficult? I was day. No, um, the um, day more crazy, a um, mountain exhibition, 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 I think. exhibition, exhibition uh, of milk. Uh, Nido uno más protección. Oh, really? uh, uh -huh. Yes, um, estaba con el 40% de descuento. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. The only yes. problem is that I don't drink milk. Uh, no, I'm, no, teacher. No, no problem. The problem no. is that I'm not tolerant no. to milk. I'm not tolerant to dairy products. Ah, okay. Dairy. Ah, okay. No tolerance lactosa. Yes, exactly. So dairy products for me are like uh, oh. dairy means lactose. Ah. Ah, oh. okay. Thank you, Sylvia. Franklin, how are you? Hi, teacher. Uh, a tighter teacher. I I have a first day in all week uh, because I had problem with the system. Oh yeah, you told me yesterday. Was it yesterday? Uh, yesterday? You no, you told me one of these days that you had problems with the system. I remember that. Yes, yes, yes. You're still uh, working with it? Uh, I don't understand. Are you still trying to solve the problems? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, no sé cómo se dice, me solventaron el problema. Oh, they solved the problem. They, they solved the problem. Solve. Look in the chat. Solved. 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 Ah, oh, okay. Solved the problem. Fix or fix. Okay. Any one of those two can be. If it's like a mechanical or technical, you can say, or software, perhaps, you can say fix. Okay. And you use solve when you refer like a, like an arrangement, ideas, you solve. You solve a, a puzzle, okay? Okay. When it's something mechanical and physical, it's mostly fix, okay? Okay, solve is uh, use the software. Could be. Okay. Thanks. So they they fix the problem. Nice. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Very interesting. So let's see. Let's see. Well, today is Friday. You know. Tell me, what do you like better, to have the class on from Monday to Thursday or from Tuesday to Friday? What about you, Rodrigo? What do you like better? Uh, uh, I enjoy the same, uh, but I think that is better from Monday to, to Thursday. To Thursday. Yeah. So Friday, relax. Yeah. Uh, and, yes, yes. The Friday, always we have other appointments, other uh, activities. Meetings. Yes, yes. The family. Okay, okay. Now, let's see. You were supposed, guys, to bring 10 adjectives to class. Do you remember? Let's see. Who's telling me that can only listen to the class? Oh, 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 oh. That's... Uh, somebody said in the group that can only listen to the class. Who was it? I don't know the name. I don't have registered the name. Let's see. Anyway, 
So you were supposed to bring 10 adjectives to the class. Do you remember, guys? Let's yes. see. I don't know. I was not. Hey, yes, Yelda, yes. Okay, guys. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to do it like this. So everybody can. What do you prefer, in the whiteboard or in the chat that I write all the adjectives? Where do you see the them better? In the whiteboard. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Excellent, so we are gonna do it in the whiteboard. No problem. That's why we have this resource. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, text. We have text here, we're going to make it a little bit bigger and let's start. Rodrigo, give me two adjectives, please. Two adjectives. Um, um, uh, fat. Fat. Perfect. Fat. Uh, long. Long. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Adonai, two adjectives. I'm sorry, teacher. I, my microphone is mute. Big. Big. Okay, another one. Short. Short, excellent. Now, Sylvia, can you tell me two adjectives? Sad. Sad, nice. Another one? Sad. Mm -hmm. Happy. Happy, perfect. Okay, yeah. now, thank you, Sylvia. Uh, Franklin. Who else you uh, crazy. <laughs> crazy. Another one. Franklin, you got another one? Uh, tired. Cancel. Tired. Perfect. Tired. Excellent. Thank you. Hilda. Uh, good. Good. Yes. Bueno. Okay. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Perfect. Bad. 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 Do we have bad? bad? No, we don't have bad. Bad. Asleep. As mm, no, no, asleep, no. 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 Asleep. Look. Sleepy. Sleepy. Yes. Okay. Let's see, Vanessa. Adjectives. Early. What? Early. Early, perfect. No. Another one? Uh -huh. um, hot. Hot, okay, a very interesting one. Let's see who else, who else is here around. And Vicky? Intelligent. Oh, thank you, Vicky. Please, another one. Um, optimistic. Optimistic, wow. Okay, let's see. Optimistic. Hmm. I am no. not sure about, no, I'm not sure about the, the, the spelling. Okay, guys. Oops, what did I do? Oh, here. Hmm, I square head today. Okay, we got... Fat, big, short, sad, happy, crazy, tired, good, beautiful, long, sleepy, uh, early, hot, intelligent, optimistic, bad. All these are adjectives, right? And these adjectives can be used for different things. Adjectives are words that we use in order to describe something, okay? Like my shirt, my shirt is blue. My shirt is big. My shirt is a little bit loose. Oh, that's another adjective for us. Loose. My shirt is a little bit loose because I do not like tight, tight clothing. I don't like tight shirts, okay? Now, uh, let's see. Today was uh, a cloudy day. Cloudy, 
it's an adjective, okay? And let's see, I can see Sylvia right now. She's very serious, an adjective. Do you remember that I said that Vanessa was a very tough boss? Tough, adjective, I'm describing. So adjectives are the words we use to describe, okay? Now, what we are going to do is this. We are going to have two minutes. We are going to go to the breakout room. You are going to choose two adjectives that you bring. You are going to give those two adjectives to your classmate. And your classmate is going to make two sentences with the adjective you give. Okay? So that means that you are not going to work with your adjectives. You are going to work with your classmates' adjectives. Do you understand the activity? Yes? Okay. Any question? No? No teacher, no. Perfect. Let's go to the rooms. Silvia. Hello, Silvia. Can you get to the room? No teacher. Okay, let's see. Let's do something. Hold on. Hold on, don't go, don't go, don't go. Sorry, mister. Sylvia is having problems with the with the breakout room, but she is back in the main room. Would you like to go to the main room and work with her there? Yeah. Please do. Okay. Appreciate it, mister. Okay. Don't worry. Rodrigo is coming, okay? Okay. Hmm. So, what were you added? Oh, there's Rodrigo. Excellent, excellent. Different anything. Different things. Things. Thing. My job is very interesting because I I do different things uh, every day. It's, it's very... Um, Extra, extra extraño, extra, extra. strange, weird, rare. No, strange. Eh, always hacer lo mismo. Eh, okay, eh, please explain eh, your idea in Spanish to me. Okay, es, es, es raro que yo, digamos, haga, haga algo, o sea, que esté siempre haciendo lo mismo. Oh, uh -huh. it is weird. For me, uh -huh, it's weird for me. It is okay. I will type it for you. It is weird for me to always do the same. It's it is weird, weird for me to always do the same. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. This reason, me, my job is very interesting. Uh, okay. It, it like uh, I like it. Cool. Mm -hmm. And um, postres. What? Postre. Postres. Postres. Eh, 
de, de, ¿cómo se llama? De additive sweet. Oh, sweet. You like to prepare desserts? Uh, desserts. Desserts. Postres. Postres. Eh, teacher, I uh -huh. have a question. Yes. Eh, Marina and I, I say the adjectives in the all the all the class uh, prepare the question or no 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 you have two adjectives uh -huh. Marina has to make two sentences with those two adjectives okay. Marina will tell you Adonai two adjectives for yes. you to prepare your sentences okay. Uh, ah, okay. ah okay ah pues ya simple, simple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So okay you... yeah okay cool let's go back to the main room Okay. Dessert. Okay, let's see, let's see. For hit eh, more donuts, <laughs> por comer muchas donuts. <laughs> okay, la otra sería long, ¿verdad? Long es como largo, ¿verdad? Yes, it is. Yes, okay, sería... Um, Uh, long. Easy. Long. Look, uh -huh. look, Sylvia. Hello. I have, I have a long day. I have a long day. Yeah, long I, train reading. I had a long day. She, Sylvia, uh, had a long okay. day because she was preparing an exposition. Uh, okay. You see. Okay. Well, thank, thank you, Sylvia. Thanks, Let's see. Teacher. No, thanks to you. Okay. Hilda. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Okay, tell me, what were the adjectives uh, your partner gave you? Um, he used um, tired. Tired, okay, tell me the sentence. Uh, she was the uh, tired day. Mm. Um, mm. No, no. Okay. There's something here. Look. And this yesterday, I don't know if it was to this group. Okay, there's something here. Okay. You say I am tired. Okay. But you say I have a tiresome day. Or you can say I have yeah, a tiresome day. Or you can say... What is the meaning tiresome day? Today was tiring. The same meaning, just that this you apply to the person. These two are for the situation, okay? It was very tiring for me. It was tiring, but tired is the adjective you apply to the person, okay? In this case, we use the third person. She was, uh, she, she had, was, she had a tiresome day. Um, a sleepy Or day. today was tiring for her, you see? Okay. I have, okay. Okay. Only that teacher. Perfect, thank you. Adonai, what about you? Hi teacher, um, my partner is, is Marina. Oh yeah, the tough lady, yeah, the angry lady, yes. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> and, Tell me please. And the adjectives that Marina say are hot and beautiful. Okay, please, tell me a sentence with beautiful. Uh, 
the beach is a beautiful place. Okay. Perfect, just be careful. The beach, softer, okay? Don't hit that word. Softer. The beach is beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. Ah, okay. Say it again, ah. say it again, please. The beach is beautiful. <laughs> okay, Alanai. Look, listen. You have to pronounce that word. I know that is with B, but don't stress it. No me la golpee la palabra. Ah, okay. La ve cuando la pronuncia no me la golpee porque me está diciendo algo inapropiado. Okay? Ah, I know that. I know that. Sorry. So you have to say, the beach was beautiful. Or the beach yes. is beautiful. The beach is beautiful. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, you see, softer, softer. Otherwise, okay. uh, <laughs> I know, I remember what is the word. Okay, thank you, thank you. So, Vanessa, tell me. Hello, the adjectives Adonai are new and sweet. Okay, tell me one adjective with sweet. Sweet. Uh, Adonai is like the sweet dessert. Okay, sweet dessert. Excellent. Remember, dessert means postres. Okay, but why are we talking with adjectives? Oh, it's very simple because right now we are just using the adjectives to describe something. But adjectives have different levels, okay? And today we are going to work with something related to it. Let's see the video, please. Let's see, hold on. We are here. Comparisons with adjectives. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Okay, before we advance. Questions about this vocabulary? Wool, what teacher? Wool, wool, remember, wool, wool is lana. Wool. lana. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's continue. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice, nicer, pretty, prettier, big, bigger. <coughs> to express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I, I also, also want, want you to work with this. Cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. Okay, guys, the comparatives in this case is very simple, very, very simple, and I don't want you to be confused with it. That ER at the end of the adjective, because remember, hold on, remember, guys, what we have is this. Okay, let's see. We have old, 
Okay, that's the adjective. Now look, older. This ER, what it means is very simple. It means mass. Just that. Mass. Cheap. What is the meaning of cheap? Cheaper. We have cheaper. This is the comparative. This is a comparative of superiority. Okay? That's why this ER means mass. But there are some rules related to this. And what are the rules? Okay, the rules are very, very simple. Look, when we have adjectives that they just have one syllable, we add ER at the end of the adjective, okay? Simple, like tall, taller, old, older, cheap, cheaper, okay? Smart, smarter, new, new. Is that simple? Now, we have a little bit of exception. If an adjective ends in a letter E, simple. We just add the R, like Y, the adjective Y. Do you know that adjective? In the case that we have the adjective Y, ancho, okay? In that case, as it ends in E, the only thing we do is to add the letter R. Para que diga más ancho, solo le agregamos a R. Wider, okay? Yes? Teacher, because finally an E. Yes, because it is an adjective. Or it ends. No, I don't. It's a short adjective. Or if it ends in E, we just add R. If it's short, we add ER. The example was all older, new, newer, tall, taller. Okay? Very simple. Now, but there are more rules because there are also exceptions. Now, we have some exceptions to it. One exception is that big. Big is one exception to the rule, okay? Because we have, okay, no, no, we are not gonna do it here. We are gonna do it here for you better to understand it. Okay. Now we have big. In this case, We have far, farther, okay? We have good, better. These are exceptions. These are exceptions to the rule. And we have bad, the exception is worse because we don't say Más malo, we say peor, right? So, these are exceptions to the rule. Big, bigger, far, farther, good, better, bad, worse. Remember, if the adjective is short, we just add ER, okay? These are the exceptions. Any question up to here? No? Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now, in the adjectives of two syllables, two syllable adjectives, in order to build up the comparative, usually we add the particle more at the beginning. Okay? That happens with more of them, with most of them. Okay, let's see. One example of this, like. Um, One example of this rule, remember, if the adjective is big, 
It's two syllables, two or more syllables, like clever. Listen, clever. What's the difference between clever and cheap? Listen to the sound, cheap, cheap. Now listen to this one, clever. See, in this case, the two syllables make the sound. In this case, even though got many letters, it's just one sound. And remember that in English, some roots are related to the sound, okay? So in the case of clever, more clever. In the case of intelligent, more intelligent, right? In the case of pretty, what would be for pretty? Because pretty is a two syllable. Now comes an exception to the rule because we don't say more pretty. It's an exception to the rule, what is it? Oh, when an adjective ends in Y. In this case, what we do is this. We change the Y for I and add ER. Okay? This is exception. Any question? Any question up to there? If it's short, ER, okay? If ends in letter E, just the R. If it's more two or more syllables, you place the word more at the beginning. If it ends in the letter Y, we change the Y for I and add ER. Again, I repeat, I'm sorry, I will make it, uh, I will jump into just for a second so you can understand me better. Perdón que pase el español, pero para que no tengamos dudas. Si es corto el adjetivo, ere al final. Si el adjetivo es de dos o más sílabas, le anteponemos la partícula more, que significa más. Si termina en Y, Cambiamos la Y por I latina y le agregamos E. Si termina en E, solamente le agregamos la R. That's, those are the rules. Any question? No, teacher. It's easy, no? Excuse me. For example, could you say happy? Happier. Happier? Yes. Well, happy. Happy, happy, happy. It depends. More happy. Some people more will, happy. Some people will say happier and some people will say more happy. More happy. Yes. In this case, it's a little bit uh, complex, okay? Because okay. Uh, some people, as I tell you, some people follow the rules and some people do not. But actually, the, the, the correct one will be happier. Happier. Yes, that would be the correct one. Okay. We don't say more happy. We say happier. Okay. But the problem is this. And this is something that I want you to pay attention to. Actually, the... Uh, the problem is that we don't speak quite properly. El problema es que no hablamos bien. Porque si usted está feliz, ¿cuál es el grado superior a feliz? No es más feliz. Feliz, gozoso. Puede estar eufórico. You see? Those are different words. You get what I mean? It's the same as with bad, okay? Bad, malo. But we don't say más malo, we say worse, peor. The same goes with happy. The same happens with good. 
bien o bueno. Better, mejor. You get, you get what I mean? Yes? Any question, guys? Please, please tell me. I know that they are doubts. No question. No for this moment. No for this moment. Okay, okay. Let's do something, guys. With the ad, choose four of the adjectives you brought. Okay? And make them into the comparative form. Then write a sentence and send me the four sentences. Okay? That's gonna be your homework. So I can help you and correct you if you are work with the ones that you have more doubts. Trabajeme con los que tenga más dudas. Okay? Choose four of them, make the sentences, send them to me, and I will help you checking them out and help you with the rules. Okay? What do you think of that? ¿Les parece bien? Okay, teacher. That's okay. Okay, okay. Do it, do it, because that way I can see where do you need me to help you. Háganlo porque pero donde se necesita mi ayuda. For me, no problem, okay? You can send them to me and I will be checking the sentences one by one. Or you can post them in the, in the, in the post for today's class, okay? okay. For the comparatives. You can post them then if you want. Or if you want to send them to me directly, do it. If you want to send them to the group, the WhatsApp group, do it, okay? Don't worry that I will check them. That's not a problem. And I know that this topic is kind of uh, a little bit complex. Now, something that you have to remember from the explanation, from the video is that, okay, I say that Sylvia is taller than Roxana. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just making an example, okay? Roxana got like, what? She was like, angry. Okay, look, look at the sentence. Sylvia is taller than Roxana. Now, the sentence that I'm writing is this. Look at it. Sylvia is taller, oops, my bad. Sylvia is taller than Roxana. Okay, again. Then, then, this, this means que, in comparative form, okay? As simple as that. Silvia is taller than Roxana. Oops. So, always remember this. When you are making comparisons and you are saying the two things that you are comparing, we always say, then. And this means que, but just only, only with comparative. Okay? Because you know that we have what? Okay? For questions. Like when I ask you, hey, what is this? Okay? I say, what is this? Is it? That's for questions. Then we have that. That means also okay. The problem that I have with Rodrigo is that he never attends to classes. The problem that, el problema que, that is used okay, in affirmative. And in comparatives, we use then. Is it clear? ¿Se entendió? Hello guys, any questions? Yes, yes. Please, please. Yes, yes. If you have any doubt, please ask it. Today is the moment. Okay? It's clear, teacher. Okay, but Very then, what about you? Very clear, like a cool day. Mesa, do you understand it? Vicky, Franklin? 
Yes, teacher. Okay. In so, this moment, yes, teacher. Do not forget, <laughs> do not forget to do the sentences. Oh, I can help you. Yeah, teacher. Yeah, teacher. I, I have a question right now because the adjective, uh, the one method I use is learn one word and know the opposite. For example, many, none. Yeah. What is the, the, the application of the rules on this adjective, none? None, none, or more none. 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 The problem is this, that you are talking about an exception because none <laughs> is zero. Okay? Okay. And there's nothing more than zero. I mean, when you talk about zero, you are saying zero, not existence of no more. So in that case, it doesn't- Negative. Happen. It's negative. <laughs> it's already negative. You should not make it superlative. Okay. Because you are saying zero, you are saying not existent. All right. Okay. Okay, Good. guys. By the way, you were supposed to work uh, today. You are supposed to have finished already section uh, section three, and you are supposed to have finished the, the unit. Okay. Not the I finished, teacher. You were supposed to have finished the well, the knowledge check, where you had a picture and you have to to do the exercises, and also the midterm exam. Did you do the midterm exam, guys? Yes, teacher. I finished. Yes, teacher. I finished. Yes, teacher. You sure? So no, I am not I'm sure. sure. Remember that the midterm exam is many exercises. First, you yes, have yes, I did. Yes. yes, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. Everybody did, so I don't worry about that no more. You leave, you leave me. You left me. You, you believe me. Oh, do you believe? Me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you that much. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You have to believe.